Hey Darnell students, it's Ms. De Silva. Thank you for joining me for this week's video. Um, this week you are joining me during the Great Kindness Challenge Week. So that means schools across the United States and even across the world are participating in this big event um, of spreading kindness. Really simple. It's just that we're focusing um, a little bit more than we normally do on sending the message of kindness, doing the best that we can to be kind to others, and even being kind to yourself. So um, I am asking you that each day this week, you do something that you wouldn't normally do. Um, to be a little extra kind to someone in your life. And that could be the person that brings your mail and you catch them and you say, thank you. Um, or a neighbor that you always see, but never talk to. And maybe if you don't have a mask on, <laughs> flashing them a big smile. Um, smiling is the easiest, simplest way to easily spread kindness um, to others. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go through some other ideas when we get towards the end, but just remember, um, I hope you'll join with me because um, I will be trying my best this week to be a little extra kind. So let's watch a video so you can learn a little bit more about what this week means um, in case, because you might not have ever heard of it before. Sometimes we feel lonely. But we're not alone. We have the power to join together with kindness. We are taking off a great event. The National Great Kindness Challenge Week. What started with three schools in Carlsbad has spread across the world. So that video showed you a little bit more um, about what the Great Kindness Challenge Week is and what it means and how simple it can be um, and it can become a part of your life this week. I'm going to show you um, just a little bit more of another video of um, some students talking about what kindness means to them. Kindness 
kindness means treating others the way that you want to be treated. And kindness means including others. It can be many things. And I think that kindness is not just helping others when they fall down or saying hi to people. It's way more. It's making, it's touching people's hearts. Kindness means helping people, being nice, and it's just a good thing to do. It just makes people feel warm and just makes people feel good. It means making people feel like they're special. Kindness means like to be caring for others and maybe could like make the world a better place if you be kind like to everybody. It's important to be kind to others because you, like we ourselves, we know what a bad day feels like and when someone else does something kind for you and it's really important to have those happy days instead of just remembering the bad things. People should be as happy as you are. No one should be sad. Kindness matters. <laughs> All right, so this checklist is um, something that a lot of schools are using, and um, your teacher has it. If it's something that you'd like, ask them to share it with you on your on Google Classroom. Um, but it gives lots of ideas um, that you can check off um, to participate in the Great Kindness Challenge. And I'm going to add that if you share with your teacher the ways that you participated in the Great Kindness Challenge, then um, your teacher's gonna pass that information on and you can be entered to win something. Um, we'll be choosing some people at random um, to win a few prizes. So I hope you'll participate and I hope you will let your teacher know about that. Um, but I'm gonna pick out just a couple things on this checklist that are, I think are really simple and um, go a little, but they still go a little above and beyond what we normally do every day, every day. Um, so make and display a thank you sign for essential workers. So right now we're staying home, we're being safe, even though it can be so frustrating to be at home all the time. And um, going to class from home. But remember that it's because we want to stay healthy and we want everyone that we live with to stay healthy. So the thing is, there's some people in certain jobs that can't stay home because they have to go to work in order for things to keep work moving and working. So um, that would mean especially nurses and doctors, but even people that um, work at the grocery store, right? We still need food during all this and we have to get our groceries. <clears throat> so um, if you make a sign, you might've noticed some around, some people put them in their front yard or in their window, um, just saying thank you to essential workers. Um, another idea on here is to, uh, that I really like, say sorry to someone you may have hurt. Now, whoa, that can be really hard um, to do, um, even if, especially if it's something that happened a while ago. But we've talked a lot about in my lessons about kindness and empathy and compassion. And maybe sometimes you've thought, hmm, maybe I wasn't my best self. Um, maybe you made fun, fun of someone or you were pretty negative towards someone, even online. And um, if you were to reach out and just say, hey, I'm really sorry that I did that, that would have so much impact on that person's life. So um, those are a couple from the checklist that I really like, but obviously there's a big long list on here. But here's a few other really simple kind acts that you can do this week that I wanted to put out there. Do a household chore without being asked. So 
help your parents out or whoever you live with and do something around the house that is helpful um, without them having to nag you to do it. It's something that you wouldn't normally do. So I have a vacuum on here because if you went and vacuumed the whole house or if you swept, went and swept the whole house or your porch or your balcony, if you have those, or just go do the dishes, <laughs> really simple things like that. Or clean your room, make your bed, do things that, um, you know, maybe something that would surprise the adults in your home and it would just like really make their day. Um, another idea is to write or draw a loving note for someone. So write a really simple note to someone in your life that you love and that's important to you. Um, it doesn't have to be a whole long letter, but um, just something where you're telling a person, hey, you mean the world to me. I love you. Thank you for being such a big part of my life. Whatever's on your mind, but focus on those kind words. And then the last idea that's on here, and this is on the checklist too, but um, paint a kindness rock and randomly place it somewhere in your neighborhood. So um, of course, I always used to go on walks around my neighborhood, but since coronavirus, we really go on walks around our neighborhood since we don't go out as much to other places um, to get out. And sometimes I've noticed these. So I don't know if any of you have, hopefully you have, but randomly I'll be looking along the sidewalk and there'll be like a bright painted rock. Um, and it can have any kind of message, positive message on it that um, might just bring a little bit of light to a person's life that day if they see it. Um, really simple, something that you can do. If you don't have paint, you could use like um, different colored Sharpies if you have those. Um, yeah, but I hope that those are a few kind acts that you will consider participating in this week um, as we all just go above and beyond. Um, so this week, I am asking that you keep kindness on your mind each day and notice how the way that you speak and the way that you act towards other people also impacts how you feel about yourself. So what I mean by that is when you're kind towards others, it's really powerful towards that person, but it actually will have a huge impact on your own life um, and how you feel about yourself. So that's another reason why we are kind. We're not only kind to our to other people, but we're also kind to ourselves. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. And um, I can't wait to hear about some of your kind acts that you share with your teachers. And I will see you next time. Thank you.